Hello everyone and welcome to the Strategy Entry Objective Values Dashboard. In this application, we will see an efficient and functional way to manage the real and objective values of the indicators of our organization. If we navigate to the General Vision page, we can see an overview of the percent of achievement of the perspective, the strategic objective and the indicators of our organization in a given period. Changing the period, we can see how the percent of achievement and the percent of achievement for the previous year and the previous month modifies. And also how the values in the table, for the perspective, strategic objective and the indicators change depending on the selected period. If we navigate to the second page, we can see the current situation of the real value and the objective value for all perspectives, strategic objectives and indicators of the company in a selected period of time. The table also shows information about the percent of achievement so you can have a better view of the current situation of the company and compare it with previous periods. If we change the period, we can see how the information for the perspective, strategic objective and indicators changes according to the selected period. If we navigate to the next page, we can see a comparison of all of the indicators of the company based on their real value and percent of achievement. We can select a couple of indicators and they will appear on the graph. This is an efficient way to compare them and have some information about them. In addition, as mentioned before, we can not only compare them by their real value, but also by their percent of achievement by clicking this button. In addition, we have the possibility to select more than one period and the table below will show us the data for the selected indicators in those selected periods, as well as the average of all those months. Thanks to the table below, you can compare more efficiently the different periods of the same year for the selected indicators. If we navigate to the last page, we can see two tables. These tables represent the indicators that have a percent of achievement higher than 100% and the indicators that have a percent of achievement lower than 60% respectively. In this way, we can see for each period the different indicators that meet these conditions. For example, if we change the period we can see how the data changes according to the selected period. Apart from the report itself, an application has been created in Power Apps. This application has been integrated into the Power BI report itself and will be in charge of interacting with the real values and the objective values of the indicators. And thanks to some flows created with Power Automate, we will be able to dump the data entered in Power Apps to the Power BI report in order to visualize the data in real time. The purpose of the application is to store and interact with the different objective values proposed for a given year for all the indicators of the organization. Also, the application will be in charge to assign different statuses to these objective values depending on whether the new year has just been created, whether all the objective values have already been entered and it only remains for the person in charge to review them, or whether they have finally been approved and therefore are reflected as objective values for that year in the Power BI report. Let's see exactly how it works. The first thing we have to do is to create a new year. In order to do this, we have to click on the button Create New Year. In this way, a notification will pop up notifying us that the new year is being created. This may take some time. Once created, we can select it in this drop-down list. As a new year has been created, the status for these objective values is pending. The second step is to navigate through the application looking for the indicators for which we want to set their objective value. In this case, we will modify the objective values for the indicators, sales revenue and expenses. These indicators are in the finances perspective and the revenue strategic objective. If we click in the sales revenue indicator we will navigate to a screen where it will be shown all the data of the selected indicator as well as a form to update its objective value. In this case we will enter the value of 350,000 and click the accept button. We will follow the same method for the expenses indicator. We have to click in the finances perspective and the revenue strategic objective. Now we click in the revenue indicator and we can modify its objective value. Once it's modified, we click the Accept button and the objective value will be updated. Once we have finished entering the proposed objective values for each indicator in the new year created, we will send them to review by pressing this button. This will change the status to in review and an email will be sent to the person in charge of reviewing these values so it can be approved. The last step, once all the objective values have been reviewed, would be to approve them. This is done by pressing this button. 
And what happens is that the status for those objective values changes to approved. And also all of the proposed objective values are dumped in the Power BI report as objective values for the year created. The last step would be to check in the Power BI report that those values we have previously entered have been updated as objective values for the new year. To do this we will go, for example, to the comparison page and select the indicators for which we had modified their objective value. And finally, the table below will show us those as the objective value for the new year.